Hello everyone, welcome back. So this is the Miniature Forge, a painting journey. This is a special video today since I want to do this for, for a long time. It's not a 40k related or an actual miniature. This is a combination of a Mega Constructs ODST and a LS3D printed parts from a friend of mine I bought from Shark Studios 2. From a lot I bought around like a couple months ago I think now. And this guy never got around to paint until yesterday, but he's completely done. So, we're starting with the Magnum. So, the way he did this Magnum was completely different. I wanted to do a green top for the uh, slide, for the sliding handle. And a gray under part for like this laser sight and the uh, actual front part and the little pistol. The... I think it's a grip. I forgot what it was called, actually. But for the uh, Magnum. So I did this because I wanted it to be more special. And it also gave me more stuff to play around and mess around with. So I made the handle black because the figure's hands will be gripping this part. And it will chip off over time. So I did repaint it over with black. I, and I don't really care about the underside too much. So I didn't fully paint that because that would chip and wear off over time. So it's no point of messing with it. So I just kept it black, and if I did paint a bit over it, I uh, painted Abaddon black over it. But all fairness, this Magnum is nice, but it's just this thing right here is so oversized. I mean, it's cool, but to me it's just oversized, but I still like it. So next up is going to be the helmet. I have no idea what type of ODST helmet this is, but this is pretty fun to do, to mess around with, with the ODST helmet on the outside of the visor. I made it kind of dark, then uh, bright, and then mixed it with a bunch of types of blues. Uh, well, they're all the same blues. I just mixed like different colors of white and black into it with my two blues to give it this like glass look. Like the middle part is where it's like super dark, and the outside part is bright. But in all fairness, this helmet was pretty fun to do, it's including this little red little mark right here to match the rest of his armor or her. But I also really like doing this little flashlight bit right here outside of the helmet. I did green instead of doing yellow or like an orange color for the headlamp. Because I didn't really like it, the idea of it. Because it would be so bright and look ugly on the figure. I did like a actual lamp, like a flashlight color. Compared to a, like a dark light greenish color. Like a neutral green. But in all fairness, this helmet's very nicely done. Like, the print quality is very good. So, up next is the um, shotgun wrist. I forgot how to call it on the wrist, but... Like, a shotgun shell storage thing on his wrist. Was well, very fun to do, actually. My friend said, told me good luck when I told him I was to work on this uh, figure, finally. He's like, good luck on the uh, shotgun shells and such. But in all fairness, it, was, it wasn't really hard. It just controlling your brush and uh not watering down your paint too much but i say you did a good job like with the rest of the figure i uh fucked up this arm by putting too much earth crack shade on it so i made it, like really dark so the rest of the figure i do the rest of it the same too by applying that shading everywhere on the uh light gray bits so it actually looks somewhat decent sure it could use another coat of earth crack shade so it actually uh, like looks the same, but originally it did turn out well. I just fucked up, which is my own fault. But in all fairness, this was a very, very fun thing to do. I really enjoyed doing this ODST. Originally, I was going to paint the torso red right here, but I decided to leave it because it would make no sense. Well, it would make sense, too, to do it, too, but I could also have the blank. Because it was pretty hard to try to mimic this grayish green. This like weird gray color. Is what this is. Is like some. I mimicked it like very spot on almost. It's just that I don't have any like anything to make it look glossy. Compared to the rest of the model. Or figurine in this case. But in all fairness I say I matched the color dead spot on. It just doesn't have the glossy effect to it. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this little video of me showcasing off the pistol, the little shotgun arm, 
the shells with the arms on it, and an ODST helmet. Well, hey guys, uh, I will catch you up in a second when I talk about this figure too. Hello everyone, welcome back to the painting segment. So this right here, just me showing you how I painted it, what parts it did first. But what I did was do the helmet, which was a bit confusing at first to try to get the colors to match. But you can tell right there, I did too light, and then went back in and added a bit more black paint to my uh, gray I mixed. And I went over it completely, including the visor and such, so I can see where I'm going at since... With black primer, you can't really see well with smaller details and such, which is the downside of it, but it's also an upside too as the primer I'm using, my paints work well with. In all fairness, I say it worked out pretty damn well. I see here I'm painting the R, trying to mimic the uh, gray, the grayish white color of the uh, regular R to Mega Construct side of the paint color scheme. So I'm just going in and just smacking this white everywhere, including on the shotgun shells. The reason why I'm doing this is so it gives myself like a basis of where I'm supposed to put my paint at later on, if where I'm supposed to put my washes, where I'm supposed to put my red at, basically. So I'm basically going to just dry a bit. Since it's white paint, it dries pretty quickly. So I'm just basically going around with the gray. I mimic this perfectly, though, too, for the gray uh, camo pattern. It makes it look well, but on the actual figure itself, as you saw like a couple minutes ago, I over earth crack shaded the shit out of it and it looks kind of bad but it still looks good but basically go around and I'm working on the helmet right now which the reason why it's not fully in the camera is because I need to see this more than the camera needs to pick up on but this part wasn't really hard I did it I'm surprised I didn't uh, have it bleed through surprisingly which means I had a correct water ratio in my brush and a correct paint mixture with water ratio which, to be fair, I did a pretty damn good job at the helmet. So, I did most of it off camera, though, too. The reason why I did that is because there's so many small details and niche details I need to go through. So, basically, here I'm basically putting down my first coat of the uh, visor before I made it look like it's like so much different colors or it's trying to mix in with that dark middle spot where the eyes are through the helmet. So I'm basically doing that, and here's a close-up of that real quick, and here's the above view, too, of how the visor looks, which it looks okay, but it looks terrible at the same time, though, as a work in progress. But, in the end, it does look good, but I also messed up the arm, too, as you can tell later on. But I did mimic the colors beyond perfectly. I matched the helmet with the armor, the arm camo, and the arm white perfectly and I match the red too perfectly the reason why it looks so different is because it's so bright and I'm right now I'm working on the uh like I said in the video the uh lamp on the helmet I decided to make it green instead of like an actual flashlight color because it looks weird on this type of color scheme palette it needed a neutral color to fit alongside with the dark red and the whites and grays because it, it would look so weird so basically I'm letting this dry right now so I don't like interfere with it too much. But I did not paint the pistol on camera. That I had to do it by myself because I never painted a gun before besides like seven years ago. But basically now I'm coming in with my second blue, which I watered it down a bit for a reason. So it'll give off that like mixing effect with a somewhat dried blue. So hopefully it like kind of blends in, which it did it perfectly actually, like beyond perfectly it hit well and it mixed well which there i'm going in for a lighter shade of a blue because i didn't like the previous ones it was too dark and i want to layer up the helmet and screw up the visor details too much but in the end it did look very good and i really did enjoy it and right now i'm just like fixing it like where some parts the green didn't fit through but this odst turned out very well you know i'm pretty sure this is supposed to be a spartan helmet but it's an ODST Helljumper helmet, I'm pretty sure. But besides that, it looks pretty damn good. I'm just like double checking, seeing if I like it originally. Originally, I was going to do a uh, gold visor. I'm like, no, I don't want to do bluish gold. I want to do my own thing. I want to make a uh, neutral um, helmet. And here we have the bases, the shotgun shells. I did not paint those on camera too, I believe so. For some ungodly known reason. <laughs> I forgot why I didn't want to do it. I think it was just because it was so late at night and I didn't want to film. 
But besides that, I hope you all enjoyed this video. See you guys later.